Hello, what is the evidence supporting the use of macuna prurients, also known as uh, velvet beans in treating Parkinson's disease? This is our topic today. My name is Dr. Sayas. I'm a board certified internal medicine doctor and neurologist practicing in Tennessee, USA, who specializes in Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. Let me start saying that whenever you want to search for a medical topic, go to podmed.gov. There are multiple YouTube videos to teach you how to do a good search. Remember, be careful with Dr. Google. Make sure that you understand how to interpret clinical trials. It is best to allow your physician to help you to understand medical studies as they are trained to do so. You need to understand multiple things. Number one, bias. Number two, conflict of interest, very important. And the type of a study also, even the type of the journal is important to take into consideration. Now let's discuss about macuna prurience, which is our topic. Macuna is a bean that has been used for thousands of years in India and places in Africa to treat a syndrome described at that time as bradykinetic, which means a slow movements, tremors, and dementia. By the way, Livodopa was first isolated from fava beans back in 1913. However, Macuna Bean is the plant with the highest level of levodopa. When I say levodopa, I mean L-dopa. It's the same thing. The amount of levodopa in these beans varies from 60 milligrams to 500 milligrams. In other words, you never know how much you are getting. Also, this variability in terms of doses does not allow you to have a steady state or close to the steady state during the beginning of the disease might not be a big factor uh, because everything works very well usually. But after four years, five years or so, there is no more honeymoon period. Many patients will start having complications, more complications. And this is when you really need the expertise to help you out. You might be asking yourself, why do we not eat more food that contain dopamine? Well, because dopamine cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. There is a wall in our brain. This wall is to protect our brain, to protect us. Levodopa can cross the blood-brain barrier. Another question is, why are these products very appealing? because they are natural. The word natural for many patients, for many people means safety. They think it's not going to harm, no side effects. So why not to try, right? And also we are not contributing to this big pharma, which is a big deal. The truth is that natural supplements are unregulated, unregulated. They often contain ingredients that might interact with other medications that you are taking. For a drug to be approved in US, by the US Food Administration, we call that a FDA, the drug need to pass many, many steps of safety and effectiveness before reaching the patient, the consumer. For supplements such as Macuna, I can prepare them at home and sell them to you without any safety regulations. This, this is the main problem, especially since you do not know which product to buy. Now let's talk about this being efficacy in patients with Parkinson's disease. You go to PodMet, like you are seeing right now here. Um, you type, Macuna prurience and Parkinson. You can type Parkinson's disease as well. We show the same thing. You are looking for systemic reviews, right? So you click here and you can also click randomized control trials and meta-analysis clinical trials. It will show the same. Most important is this one here and meta-analysis. And you will see that we only can find four randomized control trials from 
1995 to 2023. If we click here, review, you will see 18 articles. Many of them are basically uh, case series or case report or, uh, or um, expert opinion, which, which is the lowest level of evidence possible. This study uh, that you guys see here was uh, published 19 years ago. It was a randomized controlled trial, but only eight patients. And one single dose for Macuna and uh, Carbidopa, Libodopa. So they compared these two uh, products. And actually, uh, Macuna had uh, excellent results. Uh, however, we cannot get long-term conclusion with this study with only one dose. Another more recent study published in 2017 in Neurology, which is the most important journal for us in Neurology. Again, small study, 18 patients. They received both treatments, the synthetic Livodopa and also Mucuna, but only a single dose study again. But what about the long-term or chronic use of velvet beans in patients with Parkinson. We have a study. This one was published in 2018. 14 patients with Parkinson's disease. They compare uh, Macuna against the synthetic uh, Carbidopa Livodopa. And you can see here that 50% of the patients on Mac Macuna could not tolerate the product, the Macuna, due to either GI side effects or worsening of motor performance. If you think that you are getting what they claim in the label of the product, think again, because this is not true. Let me show you something. And this article published in 2018 showed that the amount of levodopa in six commercial Macuna prurience products varied from 6% to 141% of what they claim on, on the product label. In other words, you cannot believe the product label, which makes things more complex. Now to finalize, let's put everything together here. This is my opinion regarding supplements, specifically uh, Macuna prurience. If you live in USA, <clears throat> there is no need to use these products. There's no need, there's no reason to, to take this type of risk. However, if you are doing well taking this product, Macuna, getting the best of you, then continue with that. Why to change something is working for you? If you live in a country with limited resources, then it is an option. Uh, if you have the correct guidance from uh, a neurologist in your area, if you ask me whether I will take this product, Macuna Prurient, if I have Parkinson's disease, the answer is no. I will be taking Ritari or regular Cinemet in combination with a very well-designed exercise program and a balanced diet. Another thing I want to uh, mention is if you want to check for clinical trials in your area, just go to this uh, website, clinicaltrial.gov, and you will find all the trials around your area. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.